today I'm going to be doing a fall video of all my favorite things. We all know I'm obsessed with fall. Um, pretty much my whole family, all my friends, and pretty much my Instagram family and all my followers, they know that come September, it's fall in our house, and I just absolutely love, love, love decorating. I love shopping, and also I love repurposing like things around the house that I have and redecorating. So there's gonna be a decorating video coming up soon. For now, I'm just gonna kind of go over some of my favorite things. Before I start with my video, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you guys know whenever I'm posting new content and you guys can be the first to know. I really appreciate all your support and help. All right, let's get started with the video. So first I'm gonna be talking about my candle obsession. Um, there's two that I use every year. I've been using them for years and years and years. One of them is the leaves candle. This one right here, it's called Hello Fall. That's the design. Currently this one is from last year. I'm not sure if this year they're gonna bring out the same design or not. So usually they change them up. But I got two of them last year and I didn't get a chance to burn through all of them. So I'm gonna just re like reuse this one and not go and buy a new one. And then the other one is a marshmallow fireside one. This one is also a classic. I wasn't too excited about the design of it, but whatever, it is what it is. The candles are just my favorite. Um, I know a lot of people now, like, I don't know, some, some of my friends don't really like Bath & Body Works candles because they always say they don't burn as well, but I don't know, I just love their scents, they're pretty unique, so I like them. Um, okay, and the next one, this next candle, I picked this one up at Winners, and I'm just obsessed with it. It's called the White Pumpkin Natural House from Sand and Fog. So I really like the look of the jar. So it's aesthetically pleasing for me. And also I'm really, really loving the white pumpkin set. So this one's a three wick one, so it's quite big. So hopefully it'll last me a while. Next I'm gonna be talking about these new slippers that I recently got from this SoCo Designs brand. And I love these. They are super, super duper comfortable. And honestly, loving the color. They have a couple other neutral colors on their site. They're very modern looking and just sleek. I don't know, I just they scream fall for me and they're just exciting to just add to my hoarding of my slippers that I have, clearly. And then I also picked up these gum boots from Winners, the Hunters. I just love the cheetah print. You guys know that each year, every fall, doesn't matter like what the new trends are, but cheetah print is always always a fall look as well as like olives and oranges so I'm really excited about these. I think these will look really good with like skinny jeans or I don't know like a cute black dress even just in the fall season when it's kind of getting towards where it's gonna start snowing and kind of gutty out. Okay now oh, I should start with food. I should have started with food. So this is probably where my dogs are gonna probably come into the video because <laughs> I'm sitting on my kid like my living room floor and they're just like my pancake. You're not gonna get any of these. I'm sorry. They're just not, they're not dog friendly. So I really love how Oreo always comes out with different flavors all every season. And they're just trying to shake it up and just trying to keep it so it's not so boring. Um, their pumpkin spice ones were really good. Last year I had those, but this year I picked up the cinnamon roll ones. And honestly, these taste like Dunkaroos. It's kind of like my childhood coming out and I'm really, I don't know, they're just so, so good. I know, I'm sorry, you pancakes, you can't have any. They're not dog friendly. <laughs> I'll give you some treats later, okay? This was trying not to do the food thing right away. Anyways, these are delicious. They taste like Dunkaroos. I don't know if you've ever had Dunkaroos, but it's sad if you haven't. Next, I picked up some of these Timbits, because I'm Canadian and we love Tim Hortons. Um, anyways, I picked up their pumpkin spice Timbits. They are delicious. They're not like super overpowering flavored or anything, so they're kind of comparable to old fashioned glaze. So this is just what they look like, and they are delicious. But they kind of have a little bit of like a spice to them, but nothing crazy. One of my favorite, favorite items, and I've tried all pumpkin spice things. I have not tried the Spam, and I won't ever. I've never even had Spam. I already know what it is. But they came out with a pumpkin flavored version. I don't know if you guys love Spam. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried it. Anyways, um. So these are like my favorite. I picked up like four boxes of these at Target and I'm obsessed with the Frosted Flakes Pumpkin Spice flavor. They're just everything. I tried the Cheerio version of them. They weren't flavorful enough for me, but these ones, it's just because if you like Frosted Flakes, they have a lot of sugar on them. So <laughs> these kind of also have a lot of, like have additional sugar and spice. Yeah, it's got quite the sugar. 
I don't know, what is it? Oh, well, actually, it's not bad. 10 grams for three quarter. Anyway, so really obsessed with this. Okay, also I wanted to mention one of my favorite things that I'm drinking currently is the pumpkin cream cold brew. Obsessed, I'm sure everybody's probably already talked about this and seen this around. This is delicious. Like, it's still kind of like warm out, but it's cooler at night and it's warmer during the day, so it's a nice transition drink into fall. Um, the pumpkin spice latte obviously is an original and it always tastes good at Starbucks, but this one's nice just because it's still kind of hot out, so it just kind of gives you a bit of a fall transition vibe to it, so it's delicious. Ah, I really love it. I've been slowly sipping on that because I'm trying to like cut down on caffeine, but it's hard when it's the season of pumpkins, so I don't know. Also, side note, do you guys not think I kind of look like Wednesday from Adam's Family? <laughs> I feel like I have her vibes going on today. Okay, so next I'm gonna be talking about some dishware that I've recently picked up and I'm like kind of obsessed with for fall, just cooking and stuff like that. So the first dish I wanna talk about is this casserole dish I picked up from Walmart and it is the brand Brock. Um, they're pretty famous for their non-stick stuff. So what I love is that I haven't actually really used this particular dish yet because I just bought it like a week ago. But what I love is that in here you can just throw in all your veggies and your meat and you can throw it all in the oven and just cook it. And like any like fall recipes with some rosemary, picturing chicken and potatoes and carrots and some rosemary. It's just been my jam lately, but it just would be really nice and cranberries. I don't know. You could just get really creative with this. It's just like a basic dish, but yeah, I just really like the look of it. It's not so, because other rock brand is usually, they have this speckled look pretty much around their pots and pans. I kind of liked how this kind of has the white, so it can kind of be neutral on the shelf. It doesn't have to look so, I don't know, barbecue s style. I'm not sure. Anyways, really gonna be enjoying this this fall. Recently we were just out at a farmer's market in a different town exploring and I came across this farm and they have this really cute home decor store on it. And I picked up these plates. They're called Contour by Now Designs. I actually think I saw Essie talk about them on her YouTube, which I was like, oh wow. I only picked up two just because I just wanted them for like, I don't know, I think they're cute just to throw some vegetables and vegetables on or like a slice of toast in the morning. They're just really nice. They're very delicate. So we have to be careful when we wash them. Can't just slosh them around. Blink, see? All right, and next I'm gonna be talking about my Starbucks tumbler. I always have a fall tumbler. And this one, I'm just loving the tortoise shell vibes on it. And I mean, it's pretty basic. It's a Starbucks tumbler. If you love them, they have these right now. And so that's been like one of my favorites. We all know I love fall, but I also really, really, really love Ray Dunn. It's true, I'm a Dunner. I love going out and finding Ray Dunn items. And I don't have access to too many places, mostly just winners is where I go. But I recently picked up this mug has the orange inside and it just says treat like trick treat which is super cute so I pulled out some of these mugs for fall um, I have some other ones that I collected from last year I have a pumpkin spice one and so this one just is added to the collection all right what should I talk about next this is getting to be super long but I just wanted to kind of go over some cute things that I've been finding lately that I just didn't want to do like an Instagram you know post about I just wanted to actually sit down and talk about why I like all these things because it's September and falls here the Vogue September issue I get this issue every year I mean I'm an avid Vogue reader as a as a child I used to like high school even in elementary I used to like save my money and go and get Vogue and I used to have subscription I used to always beg that for like Christmas it was part of my stocking stuffers anyways so I really love 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 Vogue but now because like I don't know I don't have the subscription anymore but I pick up the September issue every every time but it's just I think I I go online and I read all the stuff on Vogue so I often don't need to pick up the magazine itself but for September issue gotta have it every every year it's the biggest issue they have I love reading the note from Anna Wintour so my fall reads I currently just finished reading praise for Mrs. Everything I would definitely add this to your fall autumn book collection. It's about two sisters. 
and it just it just talks about it's just they're very different one's very feminine one's more of a tomboy and just shows like their journey and how they've changed and evolved and what they thought their life was going to be and it's not i mean hello that's typical but it just talks about how a should how, like how a woman should be in the world and they're just trying to figure it out i don't know i found it like a really good read so um if you guys want to pick it up it's a good book so I am currently obsessed, obsessed with this sweater. I have it in three colors. It's from a brand called Part Two. So my friend in town has a shop and she carries this and I'm sure you guys can find it online um, or wherever Part Two is sold. I am obsessed with this sweater. It's just super cozy and it, it's just, it fits nice. So I'll show you guys the other colors I picked up. I picked it up in the blue as well as the tan, the car, I don't know, the, Carmel and what I love is just like the sides of it like it's just how it lays like it's just like rounded so it just I don't know it just fits really well and I'm a huge huge turtleneck girl like falls out I'm a turtleneck person but I don't know it's just something about this sweater I think this is like turtlenecks are here and then this sweater you know it's just it's just very close to my new love so I got them in all these colors. It also comes in a red, which I'm debating on getting. I don't wear a lot of red, but you know, I might have to try it out. Next, I'm gonna be talking about my fall scent. Every year I have one. So this year I've chosen the She Passion. And honestly, it's just one of my favorite scents. I love the bottle. It looks just like a nail polish bottle to me, but it's just very heavy. It's, it's a luxe. I always think any product that's kind of heavy in weight is like luxe. I just I love it. You can, you can really smell black currant, rose, kind of a floral scent to it. It's just perfect for me. Um, it's not super heavy. I really enjoy it. Next, I saved the best for last. It's going to be some of my makeup favorites currently. Um, all right, I'm just going to dive into it. So, first, I'm going to be talking about this palette that I'm really obsessed with. Um, it is every so often Nordstrom comes out with palettes for MAC that are kind of pre kind of done so you just can kind of pick whatever uh, tone you like so this one's old I got this last year uh, around Christmas time and I really love it because it's kind of got and you can pick any palette it doesn't matter like if you're really trying to get into the fall spirit what I love about all of these is just this got the nice gold tones and you can you know play with this and make it more moody you can, you can really dress it up and make it more of a fall tone Scene. I really like golds and browns like you'll always see like the J-Lo look it's one of my favorites just like sun-kissed vibes um I know that doesn't usually work for winter so then I'll kind of go neutral on the eyes and then I'll go gold the lips I mean today I kind of went all out because I just sometimes it's hard when you get into the beauty room and you start playing with new palettes you get carried away but usually what I really like outside besides filming because sometimes I do a lot more heavier makeup for filming because it shows up on camera but I, like in the everyday world, I really enjoy doing like, I love having a contour face. I just love that. And I love kind of like these golds and shimmers, which kind of like warms up your eyes. And then just kind of going with like a really, really mauve or like a dark brown or even like a really, really burgundy lip. It's just fall, you know, and then you wear it with a black turn like your game. All right. <laughs> So right now, I just purchased this Laura Mercier Foundation Tinted Moisturizer. I have been using it for about three weeks now, and I'm obsessed with it. It's very, very light. Um, it's just a tinted moisturizer, so it's not very, it's not very buildable. So it's more on the sheer to medium coverage end of things. But I'm really liking it because again, it's kind of still warm out, and I'm looking for a little bit of coverage. I'm not looking for a crazy full full glam so that's what I'm wearing today on my face and then I just paired it up with this new concealer that I got actually too same time as this one I've been testing it out for about a good three weeks it's really really creamy it works fantastic I really like the NARS um, concealer however this one might be the number one of late so this shade I got was medium 36 in this one and in the tinted moisturizer, I have, it's called N 4N1 Wheat. Wheat. See? It's just all, in all the good nature of fall. 
Okay, well, and that's all, you guys. Thanks for sticking around. I'm just making sure I didn't miss out anything. I had like 10,000 things all over the floor here. Anyways, so that is all, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your guys' fall favorites are. If you guys have any other suggestions for like me to go out and try food-wise or I don't know, any kind of like home decor items that you guys have. There will be some more videos coming up for fall, um, some crafting ones and also uh, home decor ones that I'm gonna put out and just show you guys kind of like little things that I do to just make my house feel like more of a holiday season. Um, yeah, so that's all pretty much for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to have a happy fall, y'all.